is a DUI Choose Your Own Adventure Part 30. Play along, see how you do if you get pulled over or suspected of a DUI. Now, I've had something to drink tonight. I don't think I'm intoxicated. I'm pretty sure I'm below the legal limit. But when the cop asked me, How much have you had to drink tonight? I told him, Not a thing, officer. Nothing. But he didn't believe me, obviously, because he asked me out of the car. Just so I know that you're good to drive, would you mind stepping out for a field sobriety test? To which I agreed. Field sobriety test? Sure, I'll give it a shot, why not? So I was out here doing my roadside gymnastics, all obedient-like, trying to do the best I can, thought I did good, but it doesn't matter, that's just evidence gathering, it's not actually a test. But when he asked me to do the portable breath test, would you mind performing a portable breath test? I politely declined. So now the officer decides, based only what he's seen so far, if he has enough to arrest me. And after everybody I've interviewed and all the research I've done, there's no doubt you are getting a pair of handcuffs. You see, once he asks you out of the car, he's already decided to arrest you. He's just gathering more evidence. There's not much you can do in that field sobriety test to prove to him you're sober. All you're doing is giving him the evidence he needs to make the decision that you're not okay to drive. In fact, it'd be quite a liability to let you back in the car after he says he thinks you've been drinking. So, hands behind your back, you're getting arrested. Now, here's a choice. Now that he's arrested me, why don't I offer to do that portable breath test? I'll blow below 0.08 and maybe he'll unarrest me. Go to part 36. Or do I just shut my yap? Let the guys at 1-800 No Cuffs or your lawyer handle it from here. Go to part 39.